All right, guys, welcome to your, let's see, it's video number three, I believe. And in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing now that we have Apache up and running smoothly, we can now download and install PHP. So if you go to this website right here, Windows, oh, that's embarrassing. Not really. Windows.php.net slash download. It's going to give you all the crap that you need. And the version that we are looking for is this. VC11 x86, which is 32-bit thread safe. So again, remember we uh, have 32-bit Apache, so we need 32-bit PHP. So download this zip file right here, and I actually have it downloaded like before. So once you download that, if I just close out of here and view my downloads, you're gonna have a file that looks like this. PHP, whatever version it is, Win32, 32-bit, and of course it's a zip file. So the first thing that we need to do after downloading is extract it. So go ahead and hit extract all. Now I actually want this right on my hard drive where Apache is. So I'm gonna change the destination path, and I recommend you do the same in that way, you know, you can follow along with this tutorial. C slash PHP. So just like that. And after you change the path, hit extract, kick up your feet, and let Windows do the work. Come on. Boom. Roasted. So now if you look on your uh, hard drive, there should be a folder PHP right on the same directory as uh, Apache. But here's the thing. All right. We set up Apache. That's running smoothly. And we also downloaded all this PHP crap. But right now, Apache doesn't even know about this PHP folder. We need to configure Apache to run with PHP. It doesn't just do it by default. In order to do that, you actually need to edit that Apache configuration file again. So let's go ahead and do that by opening up, opening up, uh, notepad or whatever text editor you have. And if you guys uh, don't have that open by default, I'll show you guys where it is again. If you go on your hard drive and view Apache, conf and then it's this for HTTP D conf which pretty much means Apache configuration file how do we tell this configuration file to pretty much be compatible with PHP well what we need to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and we need to add a little bit of code and there is actually a few lines of code and I took the liberty to write it all for you guys before you know so I won't make you guys type everything out if you're watching this video on YouTube there's a link below the video and if you click that it's gonna take you to my forum where I have all this code written out for you so just go ahead and copy that you can actually close out of your browser now and paste it right at the bottom of your file and again all this code does is basically tell Apache hey Apache you're gonna work with PHP now whether you like it or not Apache so go ahead and save this crap and that's it you can close out of your uh, configuration file don't touch it anymore because now everything is set up to run PHP oh you don't believe me do you alright you know what I'm gonna open up notepad plus plus again and we're gonna make a real simple uh, real simple quick PHP file and I'm gonna prove to you guys that that is actually how you set it up since you guys think I'm a liar so let me go ahead and make the easiest file ever alright so that's the dumbest thing I can think of but you know you can make any PHP file for now this is just for testing and what we want to do is we need to save this PHP file in a very specific location so go to your computer and on your C drive go to Apache htdocs and we want to save it right here and this is pretty much your main directory so just save this as tuna.php or anything like that and we now as you can see have a PHP file that we can test so now what we want to do is we need to actually start up Apache I don't know if uh, yours is running already but remember you go to the command line and then from here change directory to Apache bin and from here just put httpd and hit enter and what this pretty much does is it starts running Apache pretty uh you know pretty simple enough so now when we go to our browser uh what is it localhost 
I forgot what we named. I think it was tuna.php. Hit enter and look at that. Localhost is running Apache in this tuna.php file, interprets the PHP file just like we wanted it to, and check that shit out. Tuna baby, that's what I like to see. All right, so now we got Apache running. It is running smoothly. We downloaded PHP. We configured it to work. So PHP is working now. The last thing that we need to do is we need to download and set up my SQL. So one last step to go. We're almost there, so stick with me, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.